What's going on everyone? It's Sean with the Social Media Pros, a pressure washing digital marketing agency. And today I want to talk about is SEO worth it for your pressure washing business? I break it all down. I talk about the pros, the cons, some things to consider before you dive into the SEO, whether that means you're hiring another company to do it for you or if you're going to do it yourself. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as I make videos almost daily here on YouTube all about pressure washing, marketing, and sales. Um, but jumping right into it, guys, if you don't already know about um, SEO, it stands for Search Engine Optimization, and basically it is the process of optimizing your business to show up on Google. Now, when we talk about SEO, um, we can talk about really the three main areas of Google. Um, and I'll, I'll show a screenshot here on the screen just to kind of give you an example. So when somebody types in pressure washing near me or whatever that keyword that you're you know trying to rank for uh, into Google, there's three places that you can show up. You can show up in the Google ads, you can show up in the map pack, and you can show up in the search engine results. Now, I want to briefly break this down really quickly as far as ranks are concerned. Now, when we do SEO, we track over 200 pressure washing related keywords, things like roof washing, roof washing near me, house washing and you know, Pennsylvania, um, all of those relevant searches um, for that specific market. So, and I say that to say, just because you type in pressure washing near me and you show up in the map pack number two, that does not mean that you're ranked number two. That means you're ranked in the map pack number two for that specific search, uh, but you could be ranked 10th uh, in the actual um, uh, organic listings, which I actually just made a video about this the other day. I'll link in the description if you want to know more about the differences between the um, map pack uh, SEO and the search engine results SEO. Um, we break it all down there. But um, talking more about if if you need it. So there was a study that Google put out not too long ago that broke down um, where traffic goes when a Google search is made. And that amount of traffic was 15% went to Google Ads, 35% uh, interacted and got their information from the map pack, and about 50% of uh, searchers got their information from the search engine results, which is the bottom portion. Um, and this is generally just because most people will, will fly past the Google Ads and map pack and try to land on the website that they're looking for. Um, now, obviously, I'm saying all of this to say the importance of all of them in my personal opinion. Obviously, if we invert that, SEO for showing up in the search engine results is number one because 50% of the traffic goes there. And then 35% of the traffic going to the map packs, that becomes second priority. And then 15% of traffic going to Google, Google ads, that becomes third priority. Now, so here's what I will say about Google ads. Um, as I love running Google ads. It's my favorite place to spend money for pay-per-click for pressure washing. But if you can do a good enough job with SEO and do a good enough job with getting a lot of reviews on the map pack and you can show up number one for a lot of keywords and uh, related terms, you don't necessarily need to leverage Google Ads. Obviously, as you can tell, um, the majority of the traffic doesn't go there. Now, obviously, some does, so showing up there does you know, get conversions and gets leads. But if you can really focus on showing up in the search engine results and showing up in the map pack, it, ha it adds a huge, massive benefit. Um, so yes, I believe that search engine optimization is worth it for a pressure washing business. Now, not all search engine optimization services are created equal, meaning that just because one company says that they'll do SEO for $200 a month and one company says they'll do SEO for $1,000 a month, um, there's probably a difference in the level of SEO that they provide. Now, I'm not going to get super, super in-depth. I may make a video about, you know, how to do SEO, um, but that's a very long video to make. But some of the things that, that a company could or could not be doing to help your SEO are things like building backlinks, um, building internal and external links from your website to link them to other pages of your website or to other pages on the internet. Um, they can manage your business uh, listing citations so that, those are things like making sure that your business information and website are accurate on other platforms such as Yelp uh, and uh, like Angie's and Thumbtack and all those places. Um, they could be adding additional text content to the pages of your website, adding blogs. The list really goes on. And I'm only saying all of this to say, if you're going to hire a company to do SEO for you, make sure that they tell you the things that they're going to do. And the reason that I say this is because there are 
there are a lot of companies out there, um, and I'll be biased on this statement, mine is not one of them, that say that they do SEO and they, they don't do anything on the month to month, meaning that they build the website, they maintain it, they make sure it doesn't break, and they say that they're doing SEO on a monthly basis when they're not. And the difference is, and shameless plug for, for me, um, when we do SEO, we do things like we add blog posts. And the reason that's so critical is imagine if we're trying to rank for a keyword such as roof washing near me and we're ranked fifth on that, we really have a few options. I can go to the roof washing uh, service page and add more textual content or I could write a blog post about roof washing and add in all those keywords, roof washing near me. Um, because if you don't know, one of the big SEO ranking factors is basically how many times that keyword or phrase appears on your website, meaning if a homeowner types in roof washing near me, the company that has roof washing near me in their website 100 times is going to show up higher than the company that has it in their website 15 times. And that's a huge asterisk because there's a lot of other variables and factors, but that's the general concept of it. Um, and so you could imagine if your website doesn't have a lot of text, uh, you're probably not going to rank high for any keywords, uh, or if you do, it's going to be very, very low rankings. Uh, for example, a lot of uh, our personal biggest competitors, when they launch websites, they launch them with anywhere from two to 3,000 words on the entire website. Our websites launch with over 12,000 words from the start, and we add anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 words every single month because that is one of the biggest ways to rank your website up um, for, for those uh, keywords that you're going after. And again, I'll make a dedicated SEO video where we really d dive that deep, but you can take that tip. If you manage and build your own website and you really want to rank for a specific keyword, add more content to that specific keywords page and you'll slowly start ranking. So, so the whole premise of this video is, is SEO worth it? And I say yes, biasedly with caution because not everyone needs to be doing SEO. If you're just getting started and you're only doing a job, two jobs, maybe three jobs a week, there are better places to spend your money. Uh, it could be things like yard signs. It could be things like, um, you know, maybe Facebook ads, but if you're only doing three jobs a week, I don't even know if that's justifiable. SEO is really reserved for the guys who are doing seven, eight, nine jobs a week plus because SEO is a relatively expensive um, service. For most companies, you're going to expect to spend anywhere from 400 all the way up to like 1500 to $2,000 a month on SEO. Um, now, we don't charge nearly that much, but there are some companies that do charge that much, and there are some companies that need that because if you own a pressure washing company in, let's say, Orlando, the competition for SEO is extremely high, so that means that that company needs to put in a lot more work to get you ranking one, two, or three, which side note, when it comes to SEO, in my personal opinion, the only ranks that matter are one, two, three. I don't care if you have 200 keywords ranked for number five, that is worthless. I'd rather take 10 keywords that are ranked one and two because almost none of that traffic ever ends up on the second page of Google, very rarely anyway. So um, that's my two cents. I, again, I'm biased, guys, like full disclosure, as, as most of you guys know, I run a digital marketing agency, so I try to not be biased in the advice that I give. Um, but yes, I believe that SEO is worth it if you have um, sufficient clients or sufficient customers coming in to justify that monthly expenditure. So if you guys have any questions about SEO, feel free to drop a comment below this video. Uh, I respond to every single comment. Also guys, if you haven't yet already, join the Pressure Washing Marketing Facebook group. Link is in the description. We talk about sales stuff and marketing stuff, but I, I'm likely going to make a more in-depth full SEO video. Um, that's a much more difficult video to do, but I wanna be able to give you guys some tangible things that you can start doing uh, if you don't have SEO in your budget to pay a company that you can start doing yourself. But I wanted to make a video talking about the importance of SEO and some things to consider and some things to ask companies before you pay them for them to do your SEO. That way you are well more equipped to have those conversations and you don't feel like you're just being sold to. So uh, I hope this content really helps you guys out. Uh, as always, um, please subscribe if you really like this kind of content and you're trying to start your pressure washing business or grow your pressure washing business. And I will see you guys in the next video.